you know, he, he talks very, very candidly about close encounters and how, um, you know, he was forced to release the film faster than, than, than he wanted to, and was not able to, to release the first time around in 1977, the film that really represented his vision. Um, uh, he says that Raiders is really the only movie he can watch and 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 doesn't feel like he is the director. You know, he can watch it and enjoy it for what it is. So so I think that um, uh, there is a real journey for filmmakers and, and any artist with their work, you know. Uh, so I'm not really answering your question, but uh, um, I... I I think that every time you do something, you learn and you hopefully grow, and uh, um, and it's always a bit of a of there's always a little bit of a luck factor that makes the film like be a masterpiece or fail or be discovered later. You know, I, I do think that today, and certainly when I met Stephen thirty years ago, there was even in America this cult fascination was nineteen forty one that was happening. Whereas at the time it was made, there was no such thing. So, so you know, every art form sort of has a, a an evolution, and and sometimes you know movies are hugely successful when they come out. Ten years later, they're completely unwatchable. You know, I'm sure that's happened to to you and your viewers. Uh, I've rewatched movies that I've I've loved, and I'm like, I can't believe I like that. You know, so so it's it's an interesting thing. You know. Um, that happens with uh, w with art in general, not just movies. Right. 